And a gun salute this afternoon to honor a Phoenix police officer killed in the line of duty. Thousands of mourners gathered for the funeral of 43 year old Detective John Hobbs. He was shot March 3rd and died hours later. Elected officials from throughout Arizona mixed with hundreds of police officers who attended today's memorial service. And he was certainly a great cop, but an even greater family man. That was the point made very clear at today's emotional funeral service for Detective Hobbs. It's the sound nobody wants to hear. Bagpipes playing as the casket of a fallen hero is brought inside. Family, friends, and fellow officers crowding into Christ Church of the Valley in Peoria. Police Chief Daniel Garcia was one of the first to talk about the passion Detective John Hobbs had for his wife and his children. John, we will never forget how you lived. We love you, John. The chief was the first of several tough cops to fight back tears. Next, it was longtime friend Terry Blog. I had the honor of being the best man at his wedding, but I will tell you this, he was the best man that I have ever known. Hobbs' sergeant, Bob Knapp, said Hobbs didn't just talk the talk. Today, I am even more proud to wear this uniform and this badge. But perhaps the most emotional moments of the ceremony came when Detective Mike Miller began speaking. John was more than a friend to me. He was a brother. Detective Miller was the third officer on the scene, helping to take down the suspect who shot Detective Hobbs and his partner, A.J. Casados. John made me promise him to tell his wife and his kids that he loves them. And dozens of people later lined city streets and freeway overpasses for the 10 mile procession to a graveside service in Phoenix. It's just heartbreaking. My heart hurts for the officer and his children and his wife. Complete strangers even gathered to honor him. He was a 21 year veteran of the Phoenix Police Department and a member of the Major Offenders Bureau, tasked with tracking down and arresting violent offenders and fugitives. In fact, last year, Hobbs' unit earned an award from the police chief for overall outstanding work. Many of the police officers at today's funeral were wearing the work of Detective John Hobbs. The department has pins for various units that patrol officers that the patrol officers can wear. And Hobbs designed the pin for Precinct 4, which features the Phoenix bird and reads courage, honor, and integrity. Obviously a very difficult day for the entire law enforcement community. Hobbs leaves behind a wife, three kids, and no doubt, Stephen Katie, they are certainly in our thoughts and prayers as they are just now beginning to grieve. Indeed. Thanks so much, Stephanie.